radiation uh, needs to be uh, you know, it's, it's not the same thing depending on how you use it and does not have the same effect. So there is an interaction between the tumor environment that pre-exists and the way you irradiate this tumor. And so we are trying to optimize and figure out really what are good biomarkers by studying both, pa you know, animal models as well as patients that are in trial as much as we can to understand really what is happening. We do have some evidence uh, that uh, even in patients uh, that we can prime responses, uh, T-cell responses, to the tumor by using this uh, combination of radiation and uh, um, intensity ray fall. Uh, but uh, um, there is much more work to be done, of course. Uh, one exciting uh, um, sort of why radiation, you can say there are a lot of other agents that uh, may be um, helpful that have been tested in combination, other type of immunotherapy, other type of uh, um, chemotherapies. Uh, and uh, um, the reason I think radiation is a particularly attractive one is not only because he, um, you know, it's readily available. There is a lot of expertise uh, around the country in using radiation to uh, treat cancer, um, and there are no patent issues. You know, it's it's it, it's something that has been around uh, pretty much from the beginning of cancer treatment. Uh, um, as a modality to, to at least achieve local control and what we think that now it can become uh, it can be used in a completely different way not only to control locally the tumor but to actually uh, have a systemic effect